Hello again everybody, this is Rob for GearWire.com. This is the Reaper tutorial screencast uh, where we are looking at the features uh, one by one in the great uh, and large and powerful Reaper digital audio workstation uh, application from the Cocos Corporation. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the features for uh, setting the environment uh, settings and variables for the specific plugins um, the uh, for the specific plugin environments for visualizations and for Reaper's own remote technology. So we'll talk about that. Let's go to the menu. Uh, we can see the preferences menu easily by just going to options and preferences or by typing control P. And uh, oh, actually, we're going to look at three things here. Let's start off with very just quickly. We'll talk a little bit about the Jesus Sonic effect. The Jesus Sonic effect is a VST plugin. Um, that is pretty unusual. Uh, sounds terrific in a lot of cases. It's a combination amp simulator, um, effects generator, um, audio Swiss army knife type application, and its interface is really cool. Uh, it uh, kind of resembles a DOS <laughs> um, or Unix uh, shell uh, interface. It uh, looks like a text interface. But in any case, uh, it comes with uh, Reaper, and uh, Jesus Sonic is uh, normally installed in under uh, program files uh, Reaper's main uh, root uh, folder, as we can see here. And you can get uh, effects and presets as well uh, for Jesus Sonic. Why the name Jesus Sonic? Well, it's just, an, it's just an attempt to answer the question, what would Jesus use for effects processing? And, you know, if you haven't wondered that, well, maybe you're not thinking about the right stuff. Hey, um, the next thing to take a look at here is visualization. Visualization is Reaper's... Um, ability to produce graphic visualization of uh, music as it uh, progresses and uh, it's very similar to uh, Winamp uh, in that it, the feature in Winamp uh, in that way. If you're familiar with Winamp then you are familiar with another piece of work from Justin Frankel, the uh, gentleman who is responsible for the design and most of the code of Reaper itself. He uh, wrote Winamp and uh, it's perhaps not too surprising that you would see a uh, you know, fairly famous feature from his application uh, be supported in uh, his digital audio workstation uh, application as well. And you can see uh, various uh, modules are available when you actually install them. This is not something that I've ever myself been interested in, so uh, there is uh, there are no modules here, but I know some of you are way into your visualizations and Reaper supports them directly. Now another thing that uh, Reaper supports that is pretty amazing is Remote. Now Remote is a technology that allows uh, Reaper to perform a live effects processing without processing the audio on the same computer that Reaper is running. In other words, the Remote in this sense is, is that there is remote processing of effects uh, chains that uh, take place on another machine uh, connected to uh, the machine that Reaper is running on, connected by a network. And so we can see that if uh, we actually turn processing on and we run a network with uh, remote slaves available on the network, up would pop the host name, version, the number of effects, and the status of those hosts. Um, basically, those hosts become uh, remote slave hosts if you run the remote uh, slave application on them, and they will get to the network and announce themselves as being uh, available for taking uh, effects processing. And because this is a network uh, feature, we have uh, some f uh, some ability to uh, play with latency, uh, specifically for uh, to adjust for the network traffic that we may be experiencing uh, on the network that we are uh, running the Reaper Master and Reaper Slave on. So we have a slider for that. We also have a, a slider for uh, sample format. Uh, in order to reduce network bandwidth uh, usage, you can uh, change to 32-bit, and you can also render send ahead. Well, that is the remote and visualization uh, VST, uh, excuse me, uh, um, plug-in uh, architecture settings in Reaper. Thanks for watching. This is GearWire.com.